any horse race up to 5000 exemption above 5000 full amount taxable lottery crossword puzzle game shows we have 30 percent tax monetary in the sense in the form of cash non-monetary in the sense like other than cash except UTI everything comes under taxable and comes under income from other sources a warm welcome to one and all this is your other sir here lecturing with us from Hushlet college the temple of excellence and now we are discussing the topic called income tax to session to your unit two in this we are discussing the topic called income from other source and our income from other source in the previous session we done with all the theory topics now in today's session we'll go with the practical thing while doing practical our problems i'll explain you the individual concept whatever individual concept i'll tell you please write down in your sheet so that while doing the next problem it will help you your agenda is very simple we'll go with the problems this is your problem number one. While reading one by one, I'll explain you the concept also. Now, the concept, please write down in a sheet because it is a common concept for all kind of problems in income from other source. Now, taxable income under the head income from other source. You're supposed to find out that taxable income under the head income from other source. Now. Winning from Madhya Pradesh, state lottery rupees 28,000 and winning from horse race 1,000, winning from Rajasthan lottery 3,000, winning from horse race of 49,000, winning from crossword puzzle then gift received from friend London, see the amount how much they have given. I'll come back to concept again. Winning from card game. See, card game I never mentioned while explaining the theory. The last session we were talking about your theory, all about income from other source. We discussed on crossword puzzle, game shows, and your any lottery income, horse race, gambling, yes, betting all came, but card game were not there remember that word then purchase of lottery ticket of 3000 and payment for betting of rupees horse race is 6000 lottery ticket purchase for rupees 3000 and payment for betting is rupees 6000 next winning from camel race so in the previous session i discussed about theory in that i have mentioned that horse race i never mentioned camel Race. Remember that I'll tell you why I'm telling all this. Clear? Now, this will be your question. I'll so show you the solution, how the solution will be. These are your solution like Madhya Pradesh, horse race, amount not exceeding 5,000, Rajasthan lottery, not exceeding 10,000, crossword puzzle, not exceeding 10,000, and gift card game camel race all these are your answer now i'll come to concept what is the concept while doing your problem now as per this winning from madhya pradesh lottery remember lottery what is the maximum limit for lottery now they have given us in the answer Horse race maximum is 5,000 and a lottery crossword puzzle are 10,000. Now, if you go with any race, horse race, if you go with like horse race and if you go with any lottery puzzle, or any crossword puzzle game shows now so remember this in the answer they have mentioned horse race not exceeding 5000 now in this 
if the horse race up to 5000 exemption horse race up to 5000 exemption in the question paper they have given winning from horse race 12000 how much we should take 12000 taxable winning from horse race 40000 how much is taxable complete 40000 is taxable winning from horse race 2000 complete 2000 is taxable or not not taxable why because up to 5000 we have exemption only for horse race there is no camel race there is no cattle race nothing only horse race is there under income from other source now Lottery, puzzle and other types of game show. Remember, card game will not come here. Card game is not part of your puzzle or your game show. Now, so in these cases, up to 10,000, up to 10,000 exemption. So how many concepts you learned? Two concepts. Write down concept number one. Any horse race up to 5,000 exemption. Above 5,000 full amount taxable. Second one, lottery puzzle and other kind of game shows up to 10,000 exemption. Above 10,000 is completely taxed. For example, it is 11,000. Complete 11,000 is taxable. How many concepts you learned? Two concepts you learned. Concept one, concept two. Then, Winning from Madhya Pradesh. I'll talk about this net later. Now, winning from horse race done. Up to what limit it is exemption? Horse race up to 5000 it is exemption. Then, winning from horse race. Again, they have given. Winning from Rajasthan State Lottery. Lottery up to what amount exempted? Up to 10,000 exempted. What is the amount we have? Only 3,000. Taxable are exempted exempted now similarly winning from crossword puzzle we discussed gift received from friend in the previous session i explained you i gave you all types of possibilities are examples for gift in case of gift up to what amount exempted there are three things i told you your concept number three this is one this is two Concept number three is gift. Gift from relatives exempted. Gift from friends up to 50,000. Gift on occasion of marriage. So exempted. Only three things you are supposed to learn. Up to 50 exempted means if you received 55,000, complete 55,000 is taxable. Now, in case of gift, see, gift received from friend. Is it relative, your friend? No. Is it on marriage? No. Friends, so how much you have collected? One lakh. What is the limit? 50,000. If it exceeds 50,000, complete 1 lakh is called as taxable. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, winning from card game. Card game is not part of your other source. Card game is not part of your other source. Then, so this is not part of your answer. Then, purchase of lottery to get C. Winning from lottery ticket, we are talking about, we are not talking about purchase of lottery ticket. Purchase of lottery ticket is not part of your income from other source. So we will not consider. Even the gambling or betting also, there is no question of betting here. If there is anything like betting, we have to consider. In this, we don't have any betting games. Last one, winning from camel race. So, we have only one in the income from other source, which is that winning from horse race. What is the limit? Up to 5,000 exempted, above 5,000 it is taxable. But camel race, have I told anywhere? No. Camel race is not part of your income from other source. So, what it will be, we are not supposed to consider. Hope you are clear. So how many concepts you learned? First one, all the horse race 
comes and down up to 5000 exempted above 5000 it is taxable one any crossword puzzle game show lottery and all up to 10000 exempted above 10000 taxable good third concept gift all the gift from relatives it is exempted from your friends are other than relatives up to 50000 exempted above 50 fully taxable on occasion of your marriage if you collected any gift that will be exempted it may be monetary it may be non-monetary what is monetary monetary in the sense in the form of cash non-monetary in the sense like other than cash like car mobile uh, your shopping bills all comes under non-monetary hope you are clear good now so we done with the concept now i'll go for the answer one by one now see winning from madhya pradesh state lottery lottery how much you have amount twenty eight thousand what is the limit ten thousand it is about ten thousand yes fully taxable i'll come for this next later now second one winning from horse race is 1000 1000 means what is the limit you have 5000 below 5000 yes what is the answer so it will be nil exempted then winning from rajasthan state lottery what is the limit you have for lottery you have a limit of 10000 so what we are supposed to do you have only 3000 so it is exempted we will not consider then winning from horse race 49000 49000 means it is above 5000 yes taxable yes so it is completely taxable where is it yes 49 don't calculate tax your question is only what you have to write which are comes under income from other sources no need to calculate like 10 percent 5 percent 2 percent no calculation only you have to write whether it is a taxable or not that much only your job now winning from crossword puzzle 2500 should we take so crossword puzzle what is the limit 10000 how much we have only 2500 should we take no it is exempted next gift received from friend in london so it may be in india or london any gift collected from your friend what is the limit up to 50000 exempted but you have collected more than 50000 so it is what it is taxable then winning all three will not come card game is not part of your income from other source and lottery whatever payment you made will not consider and winning from camel race camel race also not part of your income from other source now what about this net here also we have here also we have I'll tell you the concept of net. What is the concept of net here? Like, you have salary of 10,000. Example, what is your salary? 10,000. What is your salary? 10. Now, in this, you have PF, you have ESI, you have some graduate, you have some uh, medical allowances, everything. It will come 2,000. From 10,000, how much you will get? 8,000 you will get in the form of cash. Your salary is 10,000. In the 10,000, all your PF, graduate, ESI, medical, all everything will be deducted. And finally, you will get only 8,000. Now, in this, what happens? This 10,000, we call it as gross salary. What is this 10,000? Gross salary, your actual salary. But this 2,000, we call it as deductions. And whatever 8,000 you got, this we call it as net salary. Hope you are clear. If anybody asks you what is your salary, I'll tell my salary is 10,000. But in hand, how much you will get? For that, we call a word called net salary. Gross salary is this, net salary is this. Now, come back to this. 
lottery lottery they have given 28000 28000 in the sense what this is after deducting your tax after deducting your tax we are not calculating tax we don't want tax in this we don't want net we want gross we want gross now how to calculate gross salary see 8000 they have given here net means what they have given 8 Thousand. We don't want eight thousand. We want ten thousand. How to find out? For eight thousand, if you add two thousand, you will get your gross salary. Similarly, they have given net value. We don't want net value for your income from other source. We want gross value. We don't want net value. We want what? Gross value. We have to convert this into gross. How to convert? I'll show you. If this word is not there, we consider this as gross. If this word is there, we have to convert. Unless and until you convert, you will not get the right answer. Hope you are clear. Good. Now we'll go. For this Madhya Pradesh State Lottery, they have given net. So we have to convert to what gross. Normally for horse race. crossword puzzle lottery everywhere we have 30% tax we have 30 in case of bank interest we have 10% tax only two things are there lottery crossword puzzle game shows we have 30% tax and other than this bank interest deposit and all we have 10% tax now we'll talk about your lottery 28000 we have Already thirty percent deducted will convert to gross. How thirty percent deducted means hundred minus thirty, it is seventy. We have information for seventy. We don't want information for seventy percent. We want information for hundred percent. How to calculate now? Twenty-eight thousand multiplied with hundred divided by seven. Hope you are clear. Whenever they have mentioned net in the bracket, you have to do like this into hundred by seventy. If you do, you will get forty thousand. Now we'll go back to your example. Your gross forty thousand deduction twelve thousand forty minus twelve twenty eight thousand. This twenty eight thousand they have given in the question. We don't want twenty-eight. We don't want net. We want gross. For twenty-eight, you add twelve thousand. You will get forty. Why do we do all those into hundred by seventy to find out this twelve? Hope you are clear. Good. Now, so we have done with this. Next one. Horse race amount not more than five thousand. So no periods. So we will not calculate periods then. Rajasthan State Lottery amount not than not more than ten thousand, so no periods. It comes under income from other source, but we don't calculate tax on that. Why? Because the limit is less. Next, horse race forty nine thousand. They have given in the question what net. We have to convert to what gross. How forty nine thousand into hundred by seventy. Same procedure. It will not change. Now seventy. Thousand crossword puzzle amount not more than ten thousand, so no tax. We have to write in the amount column, but will not calculate any tax. Next, gift from friend in London. It is one lakh. Next, card games not subject to tedious. Now, camel race also not subject to tedious. So these are the information we have. So it comes under other source, but it is not subject to periods. Will not calculate periods on this two. Now, hope you are clear. This is your problem number one. So note, purchase of lottery ticket and payment for betting are not deductible. So this is all your problem number one. I'll go out of this screen. Please take screenshot of problem one. Your problem number one. Solution part one. Solution part two with note. 
So we'll go for your problem number two. It is also one of the most important as well as your previous question paper problem. Now, so Sri Surya Putra has the following investment for the year. Here also you will learn one or two concepts. In the previous sum, you learned three concepts. One is lottery up to 10,000, horse race up to 5,000, and your gift three points you understood and camel race card game will not come for your calculation. Now, so rupees 20,000 units of UTI income received is 4,000. Now, so 4,000 is what? Taxable, no limit, nothing. 80,000 in post office saving bank account which earn interest of 5%. How to calculate? See, 80,000 multiplied with 5%. How much you will get? So you will get around 4,000. Remember, for post office, for post office, we have exemption up to how much? Up to 3,500 exemption. So only 500 is taxable. Always remember interest on post office saving bank account up to 3500 we have exemption. This is a note number four. Fourth note you are supposed to write. What is the limit for post office up to 3500 exempted. Above 3500 taxable. It is for individual. If it is HEF you will not get problems on HEF. For HEF it is up to 7000 exempted. <laughs> But don't remember the HF number. Why? Because you will not get HF, you will get only individual. But remember, for HF it is 7,000, for individual it is up to 3,500 exempted. For example, they have given 5,000. 5,000 minus 3,500, 1,500 taxable. They have given 3,500 only. 3,500 minus 3,500, it is zero. If they have given 3,000, 3,000 minus nothing, it is zero, clear? So it should not exceed 3,500. If it exceeds, the difference should be taxable. Now, remember, new concept, post office saving bank up to 3,500 exempted. Then, 72,000, 10% tax-free debenture of Mysore Municipal Corporation. 72,000 multiplied with 10%, 7,200. Now, next, Karnataka State Electricity Board, it is 30,000. 30,000 into 14%. I'll come to answer there, I'll explain you more. 50,000 fixed deposit in Canada Bank, 50,000 into 8%. 50,000 multiplied with 8%, it will be 4 thousand. These are the calculation we are supposed to do. So compute the income from source of Sri uh, Surya Putra from the above investment for the assessment year 2020 and 2021. Combination of taxable income of from other source Surya Putra like income from units of UTI exempted. Now so in this UTI comes under exemption. Other dividend, other interest, dividend from Indian company exempted. Other kinds of interest is taxable, but only except your UTI, except UTI, everything comes under taxable and comes under income from other source. Remember the word UTI, UTI always exempted. Now, so UTI abbreviation is what? Unit Trust of India. Now. So up to 4, it is exempted, no limit, it is always exempted. Now, interest on post office, as I told you, 3,500 exempted, 4,000 minus 3.5, 500 is exempted. Then, so while calculating your tax-free debenture, how to calculate? Now, even though they have given 72,000, even though they have given 72,000, we have to assume that, we have to assume that this is net. We have to convert to what? Gross. So debentures, what is a gross calculation? Now I'll show you. 72,000 into, for lottery what we used to do? 100 by 70 but here 100 by 90. 
only 10%. So you will get 80,000. On that 10%, you will get 8,000 as interest. So this is only your debenture. This calculation only for your debenture, whatever amount they have given in the debenture, convert to 100%, then you calculate percentage. Now, the rest of the things are same. Karnataka State Electricity, 14%. They have calculated, it is already given in the question. And interest on fixed deposit, no need of converting 50,000 into 8%, it is 4,000. Hope you are clear, add everything, 16,700 is a taxable value. Now, so I'll go back to your previous slide so that you can take a screenshot. So this is your problem number two. Two concepts you learned. One is UTI always exempted. Post office up to 3500 exempted. Debentures always convert to 100%. Answer. So this is all about your today's session. We worked out two problems. Almost 70% of the concept we covered. While doing next problem or next session, you will understand. Same thing will be repeated. There is nothing much. Only we have not done with MLA income, your dividend. I'll explain you what is MLA. What is MLA? Income, the member of legislative assembly. Whatever income they get, whether it is a taxable or not, all those things we will learn better in the coming session. Thank you.